For more, we bring in ABC News investigative reporter Catherine Falders. She is also in West Palm Beach. Catherine, before we get to the latest on the investigations, former White House counsel Pat Cipollone, his former deputy Patrick Philbin, expected to appear today before a grand jury in Washington, D.C., one that is investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. What do we know about that and what those two lawyers are likely to say? Well, look, our producers out there uh, caught Pat Cipollone arriving with his attorney uh, this morning. They're asking him questions. Are there any questions that he wasn't going to answer? Uh, he was silent on all of that. But look, the reality is that Pat Cipollone and his deputy uh, were two of the most senior Trump officials to have uh, appeared uh, before the grand jury. We know that staffers to former uh, Vice President Mike Pence have also spoken. Uh, Pence's former top uh, White House lawyer, along with his chief of staff. Uh, Cipollone was there uh, in the end days of the Trump administration. He was one of the only few advisors that were there, including the former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. He was advising uh, the former president that uh, what he was saying, whether it be marching to the Capitol, attempts to overturn uh, the election, enlisting these outside uh, illegal advisors, uh, that he could face legal jeopardy for this. Cipollone was telling a lot of his staffers not to be in meetings with Trump. He didn't want anybody uh, to face any uh, illegal liability here. So he has a window into a lot of uh, Trump's decision making. What he was advising and then what outside lawyers uh, were essentially telling Trump to do at the time. Uh, that includes, for example, uh, the fake electors that we've heard uh, lots about that Trump was communicating with. So there really isn't uh, a person who has more insight into the decision making the last days uh, of the Trump administration than Pat Cipollone and his deputy. Catherine, question of the day for the special master. What do you think is going to happen? There are arguments, of course, for allowing this, arguments against it. What are you hearing? Look, your guess is as good as mine here, but uh, I was in court yesterday and the indication from the judge was that she was leaning towards appointing a special master in some way. But I've been talking to a lot of sources and legal experts who uh, are, are guessing in a way that this could be more narrowly tailored. She said that uh, if she does uh, appoint a special counsel, she indicated that it's not going to in affect the intelligence community's assessment, a uh, damage assessment of these documents. So in terms of when uh, this ruling comes, she said in, in due course, but we could expect something any minute. Uh, over the weekend, potentially uh, next week as well. We're also waiting for additional documents to be uh, unsealed. We know that the Department of Justice has provided uh, a more in-depth uh, property receipt, if you will, of the documents that were seized from Mar-a-Lago. We're expecting that to be unsealed uh, at some point, either uh, today or over the weekend or next week uh, as well. So timing. Okay, Catherine, what comes next? Yeah, look, so... Uh, Obviously, what comes next, of course, is, is the ruling, the special master ruling. Uh, look, we do expect her to potentially move quickly here. I don't think we're going to wait for for uh, two weeks. Uh, so this comes next. And then depending what it says, DOJ indicated in court that uh, they could appeal this. Uh, so it could be caught up uh, in the courts uh, for some time. We could be back here uh, at the uh, district court here in West Palm Beach. Um, but I think what the lawyers want to do uh, on the DOJ side is at least uh, review that ruling. Uh, but as of right now, uh, they're digging through the documents and the investigation hasn't stopped and the judge hasn't ordered that DOJ investigators cease uh, reviewing these documents. Uh, at least not yet. Catherine, thank you very much. Catherine Falders. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.